Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Yesterday, at a public function, Moses could have shocked very many Kenyans when he said he was now the person in charge of the country, now the Tuto Rigadi and Musalia Mudawadi are out of the country. And the remarks shocked very many Kenyans because as per the law in Kenya, I don't think the president can just appoint any other person as an acting president. In fact, in the, if the president is absent or temporarily incapacitated and during any other time, any other time period, that the president decides the deputy president shall act as the president, the deputy president. And in 2017, when Uhuru Kenyatta was traveling to the Hague-based court, he appointed William Ruto as the acting president. Yes. I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to understand the high octane politics being played behind the scenes. Let's listen to Moses Kuria before we proceed. But first, Trade and Investment Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria, who has mysteriously been left out of the U.S. tour, now claims he is the acting president. While well, speaking to a gathering at the University of Eldoret, Kuria said that in the absence of President William Ruto, his deputy, Rigadi Gashagwa, and Prime Cabinet Secretary Musali Mudavadi, then he, Moses Kuria, is next in line. Sasa rahisi ya kumarekani Ligiji ya kwa Colombia Musali ya kwa London Na mimi kwa limekalia Sante sana Yes That's Moses Kuria for you I want us to dig deep into those remarks For Kenyans to understand the high octane politics being played here. Before we do that, let me say this. We are concluding our three-day camera challenge today. We have been having a mini fundraising here to enable us buy a camera. A camera that will enable us bring you high quality videos we are concluding the fundraising today. Our target was 100,000 Kenya shillings. So far, we have managed to raise, and I'm very much grateful, we have managed to raise 65,000 Kenya shillings. I think that's very impressive. Our remaining balance is 35,000 Kenya shillings which I know we can manage to raise today. Those sending their contributions, channel all your contributions to that number below. 0722-735-065. That's my M-Pesa number, Dennis Odingo. Channel all your contributions to that number. We are concluding it today. Let me acknowledge a few of our fans here who have so far sent their contributions. In every video I do, I acknowledge the ones who have so far sent and I also acknowledge what we have so far raised. Thank you, Melab Obai. The amount is received. Thank you. Thank you, Kefa Nunda from the USA, received. Thanks to Simon Mbai, received. Thanks to Kefa Mecheo from the USA, received. 
thanks to Anna Kigetu, Kirerian from the USA received. Thanks to Samuel Kimanzi received. And uh, also John Tongun. We did acknowledge John yesterday. Keep sending your donations, guys, for us to buy the camera. That will enable us move to the next level in terms of video quality and production. That aside, let, let's now jump to our analysis. What are the political games being played behind the scenes? Let's dig deep. Yes. Before Moses Kuria made the remarks, there were some rumors that Moses Wetangula was now the acting or the person in charge of the country, the acting president. And as the rumors were doing rounds, something might have pricked Moses Kuria to make things clear that he was now the person in charge of the country. And I don't think Moses Kuria can just make such remarks without getting a nod from William Ruto. In private behind the scenes, it might be possible William Ruto signaled him to make those remarks. And I'm saying that because there is a lot of confusion, a lot of will are dealing in this government. The law is not just being followed. Total confusion in Kenya Kwanzaa government. Moses Kuria might have gotten a signal from William Samuel Ruto. That goes on to expose that confusion and uh, the abracadabra way things are being done in the government. Secondly, the remarks by Moses Kuria confirms that in this Kenya Kwanza government, they are shareholders. And even in the absence of Ruto regarding Shagwa, there are some people who cannot be allowed anywhere near power. And that can give us an insight into the succession matrix in Kenya Kwanzaa. In the absence of William Ruto, in the absence of Rigadi Shabo, most definitely a successor will come from the mountain. That, I'm saying that as the game plan here. Mm, that is the game plan here. So these old stories that, oh, Ruto wants to support somebody from Western, or oh, Ruto can support somebody from another region, I don't think that will be possible. The country has been hijacked by two communities, and these two communities will still continue rotating power between themselves. If Kenyans don't wake up, that's most definitely what will be happening. And those simple remarks, yes, they, are, they might appear simple, but if you dig deep into them, they really expose hmm, some high octane politics being played in Kenya Kwanzaa government. As I conclude, I'm seeing those remarks again as another confirmation that Moses Kuria might be the first amongst equal in Ruto's government. He might be above all other cabinet secretaries and all other any or other any other government official. Moses Kuria is a known hit or rather is he's a known warmonger. Mm. He's every now and then being found as having 
uttered some hateful remarks. And uh, we still remember some months ago, he really attacked Rain Udinga, attacked NTV, and even threatened assassination against Raila Udinga. He has been a loose talker. He's just exposing that with all those loose talking, all the hate speeches, he's the first amongst equal in Ruto's government. So just see how the birds of the same feathers can flock together. Ruto is very much happy, pleased on how Moses Kuria has been talking and doing things. That's also what I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. So he has been talking with the kind of impunity because he knows there is a stronger power behind him. I think Moses Kuri has just exposed that to us. Let me conclude it there, ladies and gentlemen. Those sending their contributions, channel them to that number below. Those who have not subscribed to our new YouTube channel, Dennis Live, I've pinned the link of the new channel on the first comment. Tap on the link, it will take you to our new YouTube channel. Let's meet in our next analysis.